10 changes that happen in your body when you take 5G of creatine every day. What if I told you that one of the most studied, safest, and effective supplements in the world could start transforming your body in just 8 minutes? It sounds like clickbait, but the science is solid. We're talking about creatine monohydrate, a simple compound that has profound effects on your muscles, your energy, and even your brain. For any guy between 20 and 50 who is just starting his fitness journey, understanding creatine can be a complete game-changer. It's not a magic pill, but it's probably the closest thing we have to one in the world of natural fitness supplements. We are going to start a timer and walk through the first 8 minutes after 5 grams of creatine enters your body, revealing the incredible biological cascade that unfolds. Prepare to be surprised by how quickly your body responds. So, grab your shaker bottle, and let's get started. The countdown begins now. The moment that 5 gram scoop of creatine mixed with water passes your lips, your body's digestive system gets to work. Within the first 60 seconds, the creatine monohydrate crystals begin to dissolve in your stomach. Your stomach acids do not destroy it. In fact, creatine is remarkably stable. It quickly moves from your stomach into your small intestine, which is where the real magic of absorption starts to happen. Specialized transporter proteins lining the intestinal wall recognize the creatine molecules. Think of these transporters as bouncers at an exclusive club, specifically looking for creatine to grant it access. They grab the molecules and pull them across the intestinal lining directly into your bloodstream. This is an active transport mechanism, meaning your body expends energy to make it happen. Within this first minute, a significant portion of that 5-gram dose is already circulating through your veins, ready for its next destination. Between minutes 2 and 3, the creatine molecules arrive at the surface of your muscle fibers. Here, they encounter another set of specialized transporters. Your body is incredibly smart. It knows that about 95% of its creatine stores belong inside muscle tissue, so it prioritizes this delivery process. Once inside the muscle cell, the creatine molecule undergoes a crucial transformation. An enzyme attaches a high-energy phosphate group to it, converting it into phosphocreatine. Think of creatine as an empty battery and phosphocreatine as a fully charged one. Your body is now actively storing the potential for rapid energy release directly within your muscles. As we move into minutes 4 and 5, another fascinating effect begins to take place. Creatine is an osmotically active substance, which means it draws water to it. As your muscle cells pull in more creatine from the bloodstream, they also pull in extra water. This process is known as cell volumization or cellular hydration. Your muscle cells literally swell up, not with fat or inflammation, but with water. This is why some people notice they look slightly more full or pumped, even after a few days of creatine use. This increased water content within the muscle is not just for looks. It serves a critical biological purpose. A better hydrated muscle cell is a healthier and more anabolic or growth-oriented cell. The swelling itself acts as a signal to the cell, triggering a cascade of metabolic responses. It can increase protein synthesis and decrease protein breakdown. In essence, by simply drawing more water into the muscle, Creatine creates an environment that is primed for growth and recovery. This effect is directly tied to the pump you feel during a workout. While we often associate creatine exclusively with muscles, its benefits extend to the most important organ in your body, your brain. Just like your muscles, your brain is an energy-intensive organ that relies on ATP to function. In fact, your brain uses about 20% of your body's total energy budget. During minutes 6 and 7, the creatine crosses the blood-brain barrier. Once inside the brain, creatine performs the exact same role it does in the muscles. It is converted into phosphocreatine and serves as a readily available reservoir of energy. This is particularly important during mentally demanding tasks, such as focusing intensely on a complex lift, maintaining motivation during a grueling workout, or even concentrating during a long day at work. When your brain has more energy at its disposal, it can perform better. This can translate to improved short-term memory, faster information processing, and reduced mental fatigue. The mind-muscle connection, 
the ability to focus on the specific muscle you are trying to work, is a skill that takes time to develop. By enhancing your brain's energy supply, creatine can help you forge that connection more effectively. You're not just physically stronger, you are mentally sharper and more resilient. As we arrive at the eighth and final minute of our countdown, the initial rapid effects of creatine have laid a powerful foundation. The creatine has been absorbed into your bloodstream, transported to your muscle and brain cells, converted into high-energy phosphocreatine, and has begun to increase cellular hydration. At this point, your body is primed. This single dose is the first step in a process called creatine saturation. Think of it like filling a large water tank one bucket at a time. This first dose is the first bucket. Over the next one to three weeks of consistent supplementation, this tank will become full, and your muscles will be fully saturated. Once saturated, your performance in the gym will see a noticeable improvement. More reps, more power, and faster recovery between sets. The changes that started in these eight minutes set off a chain reaction that supports long-term muscle growth. By allowing you to push harder, creatine provides the stimulus your muscles need to grow bigger and stronger over time. In just eight short minutes, we've seen how a simple 5-gram dose of creatine begins a remarkable cascade of events within the body. This isn't speculation or gym bro lore, this is based on decades of robust scientific research. For any man age 20 to 50 embarking on a new fitness path, creatine represents a safe, reliable, and incredibly effective way to accelerate progress and get more from every drop of sweat. It's crucial to remember that creatine is an amplifier, not a replacement for hard work. It won't build muscle for you while you sit on the couch. Its power is unlocked when combined with consistent training and proper nutrition. Think of it as upgrading your car's engine. You still have to drive the car, but now you have more horsepower to work with. It allows you to push past old plateaus, add that extra rep, and recover faster. For beginners, the initial weeks of a fitness program can be tough. Results can feel slow, and motivation can wane. The tangible benefits of creatine can provide powerful positive feedback that keeps you coming back for more. If you are serious about transforming your physique and performance, creatine monohydrate should be at the top of your list for consideration. It's inexpensive, proven to be safe, and its mechanisms are well understood. Don't get lost in the noise of flashy unproven supplements. Start with the fundamentals. Hard training, good nutrition, and perhaps a little help from the most effective sports supplement ever discovered. Your stronger future self will thank you for it.